Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to do a uh, product review on the uh, Ultimate Guard uh, Twin Flip and Tray 200, not the 160, and the uh, Gem Deck Tech 150. Um, but this is coming from the perspective of a uh, Magic uh, Commander player and how uh, these products stack up uh, for, for us in the EDH community. Um, we'll start things off with the Gemtech uh, deck box. <clears throat> now, uh, from my understanding, uh, Gem products uh, cater towards like uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh community. Uh, by the way, Gem, that's that's you need to be a little bit more inclusive. Uh, Magic players have money to spend too, um, and uh, this is a I, I guess I, I would categorize this as a premium product. Um, uh, like most uh, small companies in a modern era, uh, you really need to follow them on, uh, on their socials um, so you can find out when a product drop uh, is and get your hands on it early uh, because these things uh, sell out really quickly and then fetch for really high prices on the secondary market. Uh, so in, in that in itself uh, means that um, uh, gems are like a prestige item, <clears throat> and so they need to be uh, really taken care of. Um, unless you know you get your hands on a uh, one of their boxes uh, upon release, I think for like forty bucks, and you could beat the shit out of it no problem. Uh, but for me, like I like to take care of my things. But when they're like a luxury item, like a uh, this deck tech, I, I need to take special care of it. And I can't use it all the time. It, it, it can't be my main deck box. It can't be my main piece of um, uh, equipment uh, that I pack with me uh, to locals. So uh, there's that uh, right off the bat. Um, so this is the uh, uh, deck tech uh, uh, Seiki. And so um, we'll crack it open. Uh, I've been uh, lately getting into the habit of uh, saving the... Uh, the boxes that these products come in, uh, because it acts as a, like a uh, as a sleeve for the product. So you just hold on to it. So uh, it's a very soft uh, material. I think it's suede. I'm not a like a textile expert, but um, I think it's suede. It reminds me a lot of um, this uh, Ultimate Guard uh, deck box that came out uh, that I owned years ago. That was suede. It feels just uh, the same. Um, I don't know how scratch resistant it is. I'm not gonna uh, take the chance. Now, just a reminder. Uh, I've been playing like card games for almost 20 years now, and um, you know it's nice to see the evolution of uh, these products from uh, from shitty uh, tin uh, deck boxes, with little caps. Uh, to uh, plastic storage containers with the uh, the glued on Velcro, uh, all the way up into these uh, magnetic uh, masterpieces that we have uh, in current day. Um, so, uh, all these uh, 150 uh, gem tech techs, uh, as you crack them open, uh, they'll all feature some sort of art. Uh, this is, uh, I guess, unofficial uh, Demon Slayer art of uh, Nesco. Um, this is uh, all one piece. It doesn't detach. Um, which is fine. I, I'm not a super fan of the uh, detachable pieces because um, it doesn't really serve a function, right? I'm not going to use it as like a play mat or anything like that. And so... What we have here, I, I sleeved up uh, a 100 card triple sleeved uh, EDH deck. Um, so, uh, and I, I did that for two reasons uh, to show what a triple sleeved deck would look like in a 150. And uh, then I could break this down uh, for the Yu Gi Oh players out there who are watching this. Uh, triple sleeve, you have your art sleeve, your uh, oversized outer, and then the inner. Um, 
So it fits a 100 card deck comfortably, but you need to take up uh, the entire uh, 150 uh, card um, slot to, to, to do that, to achieve that. <coughs> uh, and then it comes with a um, dice tray that is, uh, again, uh, attached. Uh, I would imagine over a long enough timeline, uh, this would just uh, come apart and detach. Um, in here I have uh, some uh, Kraken Dice. Good product. Uh, we're not reviewing that today. Oh, and th these videos are not sponsored. Uh, but wink, wink, I wouldn't mind a, a sponsorship for either one of these companies because I think they make really good products. And, um, yeah, so I want to pause the video really quickly uh, to see uh, how the gem tech uh, fits, uh, the gem deck deck fits, a, like a Yu-Gi-Oh deck. Okay, so a hypothetical uh, triple-sleeved uh, Yu-Gi-Oh deck, right? We have a 40-card main, uh, and then 15-card side, uh, yeah, 15-card side with a 15-card um, extra deck. So I'll put it in here, fits, no problem, plenty of room to breathe. And then um, our 50, 50, uh, 15, 15, we go in here, no problem, plenty of room to breathe. Um, and then with a pinch, since everything's attached, uh, you just pinch up to, to lift, and you pinch up to lift. Easy peasy, just like that. Um, but again, um, because of uh, how much these things go for on the secondary market, um, it's not something that I would, um, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be my main tech box. There's just no way. Absolutely not. Uh, so, uh, but it's still a good product, but nonetheless, a uh, nice prestige item. Uh, the only problem I have with uh, all these boxes uh, have the same problem. This is that uh, this suede is glued on to this uh, inner insert, and so uh, if if you have a default a defective product, because I've, I've received uh, ultimate cards like that twice, uh, if it's not evenly glued on, um, they peel. But it's a uh, easy fix. You just um, wedge some crazy glue, pinch it together. You're you're fine. Um, right, so let's quickly look at the uh, ultimate card. So we have the ultimate card, uh, flip and tray at 200, um, with its uh, iconic uh, Xeno skin. Um, they make a 160, uh, so it's a smaller trays. I guess that's good for a Yu-Gi-Oh player. Uh, and let's quickly go over uh, how the box feels how it functions, um, my take on it. <coughs> so again, I'm just getting uh, used to um, getting into the habit of saving these uh, boxes to act uh, as a sleeve for your um, box. Now, uh, ultimate cards uh, are readily available. I can pick them up on the internet, no problem. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, these boxes have had several um, iterations over the years. They had like a really ugly flipped one. It was like a Rubik's Cube. It's no good. Uh, and then this is the design they stuck with. Um, you could tell the newer ones, I guess a post-2020, uh, with uh, they have this additional uh, logo uh, on this uh, flap. The older ones wouldn't. But uh, they're all the same. Uh, they open up to reveal a tray. You can pinch the tray, no problem. Um, uh, there's a little bit of space in the back where I'll keep like um, just a handful of like uh, sleeves or something like that. It doesn't really hinder the um, the, the um, tray from uh, sliding in and out. Uh, this is empty. Um, but what you could do, uh, you could fit comfortably, no problem, uh, two complete 100-card decks. Uh, the way I uh, collect 
on Magic cards is uh, my entire collection is in one single colored sleeve. And so uh, I find myself uh, many times having a one complete deck. And then in the second uh, tray, um, I have pieces for you know uh, different decks because a lot of these decks share like 60 card uh, library. Uh, so, you know, in between matches, I'll just swap out uh, cards to make a new deck. Um, the only problem I see people have uh, with uh, magic players have with their oversized uh, sleeves is that uh, they're kind of stupid and brain dead and they have trouble with the oversized um, putting it face forward because it does it's not, it doesn't fit it doesn't fit so it's a simple solution you just uh, side load it um, you could fit uh, this entire tray with uh, oversized sleeves no problem um, so if you hear uh, people saying that they can't fit oversized in here, it's because their uh, brain is really smooth and they can't figure uh, it out to just uh, sideload it. Uh, what else we have here? We have a dice tray. I like this dice tray a lot because it's removable. Um, I could um, set my game up and I have my, um, you know, my commander. Uh, and my dice tray uh, all set up, ready to go. And then I can, you know, uh, have my deck and play the cards. Easy peasy. Um, unlike the gem, where it's an attached dice tray, I, I, I can't uh, do that. But I, I kind of like the uh, detached uh, dice tray. Um, what else can we talk about? I guess if you're a Yu-Gi-Oh player, um, you can use a duel. They also make um, the like a tower. I don't like towers in general. I think um, like the the Ultra Pro towers, the satin towers, are really like ugly designed. <clears throat> but um, Ultimate Card does make the tower where uh, it's a slightly smaller dice tray. Um, they make it for the uh, one hundred and uh, an eighty card uh, tower, uh, where I think it's sits vertically and the trays like that on top and then the uh, flaps uh, open up like that easy peasy um, one thing to, uh, uh, to know when you're buying your ultimate guard product uh, you just have to make sure that you're um, uh, purchasing the correct uh, ultimate guard right because a lot of the all the products they're flipping trays they all look the same there's no real way to uh, differentiate the 160 and the 200 so you have to make sure <coughs> when, when you buy uh, these things that uh, you get the correct one because uh, then you're gonna have a uh, big big problems there's no way you can fit a uh, commander deck in a in a you know in a 80 card uh, tray this is not gonna happen <coughs> um, a handful of my cards are Double sleeves, right? And so, um, you know, they, so I'd say the majority of my cards are double sleeved, and so they fit in a 100, uh, no problem. If I was going to do the triple sleeve thing, then uh, one entire box needs to be dedicated uh, to, to housing that. And then, uh, what else is there to talk about? I know that uh, in 2022, uh, Ultimate Guard released uh, like a limited edition orange and olive colored deck box, which is a 2266 and a 133. Um, I don't normally like walk around with a triple sleeve uh, card deck, so I didn't, I'm not going to buy it. So there's no way to, for me to uh, test it out uh, to see if it, it uh, could fit a triple sleeve deck, no problem. I, I don't think, I don't think, I think it's still too a little too tight. And um, yeah, there's no, nothing else to say. Uh, two really good products. I stand by them. Uh, Ultimate Guard. Um, I love these things, these uh, uh, 200 flipping trays. I own uh, uh, nine of them. And uh, I could see myself maybe picking up another uh, gem tech in the future. Um, 
But again, you know, with a company like this, you just have to follow their socials. So you can snag up the new products uh, immediately without needing to buy them on the secondary market. And so, yeah, both of these things, I, I, they, I know um, the professor does a stupid jerk-off test where um, he shakes these things. They're not going to flip over. Like, I, don't, I don't know what kind of fucking maniac you are what you have going on where you have to worry about this uh, falling or tumbling. Same thing with this. The magnets are pretty good. It's not going to flip open. You lunatics. Um, but yeah, they're both really, really good products. Uh, and I stand by them. And like I said, I've been playing card games for a very long time. I've used up so many products uh, in my life. And uh, for sure, uh, the Ultimate Guard is something you could, you know, toss in your backpack. Uh, but, you know, like I said, uh, take the tip from me. But just uh, hold on to the box as long as you can. Uh, to use that as a sleeve. But um, you could beat these up. Um, the ones that I had uh, in the early days of uh, owning these products, they get some uh, chip wear on the, along the edges. <coughs> and then just what happens... Uh, these joints kind of die, so they, they're just uh, very loose. Um, I think the magnet could pop out, but it still stays uh, underneath the uh, Xeno skin. It doesn't pop through the Xeno skin. Um, but I guess over a long enough uh, timeline, um, this uh, Xeno skin could decay like anything else and then um, become real brittle, and then the magnet could pop through that. But like, nothing like that has happened to me. Um, but yeah, this is a good product to just throw around, no problem. I even own, um, like, the Sidewinders, because they're just really good products. I have no complaints about um, the Ultimate Guard. I know a lot of companies, because of the popularity of these Ultimate Cards, like, a lot of companies have, like, uh, knocked off the design of the Ultimate Guard. And I have yet to um, find the one company that uh, has uh, enhanced on uh, an ultimate guard. And yeah, if you just want to flex and pub stomp and show off, uh, you know, your uh, bling to your opponents, then go with a jump tech. But this, there's no way this could be my main deck box. There's no way. It's like too pretty of a deck box. No way. I already uh, have like small problems with um, uh, the edge, like cracking. And so, you know, I don't want to cry when uh, if I get like, like really real worn uh, wear issues on this box. And so yeah, that's that's the story. That's that's uh, my review on the uh, gem uh, deck tech. In the Ultimate Guard Flip and Trade. They're both really good products uh, and definitely, uh, you know, house your, um, your decks in them. Uh, you, you won't be disappointed. <laughs> They're way better than uh, plastic deck boxes, uh, that's for sure. And um, I'm just not interested enough in the uh, other designs from uh, the competitors. Thank you.